This is Tim Bryce with my column titled, The Reparations Game. I've been hearing about reparations for many years. Of course, this is for American blacks whose descendants were slaves in this country years ago. I first heard of it back in the 1960s, and it seems to come around every 10 years or so, usually around election time. Democrats have brought it up once again as we go into the 2020 election cycle. It's a desperate attempt to attract African-American votes and keep them in line. Democrats are big into giveaways, you know, the chicken in every pot routine in exchange for votes. The more they give away, the deeper the country goes into debt. Basically, they won't be happy until they have redistributed the wealth. Instead of offering programs encouraging people to work, they sucker them into winning the lotto. Democrats currently supporting reparations include former Texas Representative Beto O'Rourke, former Secretary of HUD Julian Castro, Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts, and Senator Cory Booker of New Jersey, all considered left of center in terms of their politics. The subject of reparations is always a hot topic for blacks, particularly young people becoming politically aware. But it is also designed to lay a guilt trip on whites for their possible involvement, even though slavery ended over 150 years ago and nobody is alive from that generation, black or white. As for me, I do not feel the slightest bit of guilt as my family didn't arrive in this country until the 1920s, and legally, I might add, meaning my family had nothing whatsoever to do with slavery. As far as I'm concerned, reparations is a non-issue, and I am offended if anyone tries to lay this guilt trip on me. One question that has always troubled me regarding this issue is, why do they want reparations from Americans only and not the Africans who sold them into slavery to begin with? And what about the Northerners who fought to free the slaves? Why should they be forced to pay for it? Or any Republican, for that matter, as they were the party of Lincoln, also known as the abolitionists. Come to think of it, the Democrats should be footing the bill as they represented Southern interests and were the slave owners. Having observed these periodic reparation attempts over the years, I see it as nothing more than an attempt to heighten racial tensions, thereby further dividing the country. The Democrats are playing a dangerous game. They want to redistribute the wealth at the expense of race relations. In all likelihood, reparations will play a small role in the 2020 elections. African Americans should be more concerned with their recent economic prosperity as more have been gainfully employed over the last two years than ever before in our history. Unfortunately, there will be others who will cling to the past and enslave themselves to the Democrats. After the election is concluded, reparations will quietly go away until the next time it is needed to secure the black vote. Friends, keep the faith. This is Tim Bryce in Palm Harbor, Florida. Follow me on the internet at timbryce.com.